Good morning and welcome to Bible class. And let's start with the word of prayer. Father, thank you for each one of our students. Thank you for the opportunity we have to study your word and learn how to be good scholars. Help each one of the kids today to have a happy heart as they study. Thank you for our big person that's helping and help the kids to obey today, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, let's go over our verses really fast. Okay, we're talking about wisdom. Why doesn't everybody stand up to say our verses, please? Colossians 4, 5. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time, redeeming the time. For God calls us to walk in his wisdom. Last month we talked about respect, Proverbs 1, 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. Okay, letter A, Romans 3.23, All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. For all have sinned, for all have sinned, for all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God. Okay, B, Acts 16, 31. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved in the house. See, Ephesians 6, 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Children, obey. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. Your parents in the Lord. Children obey, children obey, for this is right, for this is right. Oh, children obey, your parents in the Lord. Children obey, for this is right. Children obey, children obey, for this is right. Last week's verse was Psalm 34, 14. Depart from evil and do good. This week's verse is found in Proverbs 22, 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Let's do it two more times, please. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. One more time, please. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. You want to sing? Okay, let's sing it. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Well, hi, Grandpa. Welcome to our class today. Grampy, why did you stop by to see us? Well, I was going down the corridor and I heard singing again. Thought I'd stop then and see how the kids are doing today. Well, kids, how you doing? You doing having a good day? Train, huh? Train. Hmm. 
Yes, we're talking about, well, you heard our verse, train up a child, right? Yeah. Well, we were talking how each one of the children needs to learn to be a profe or a profa and learn how to train themselves. Because, because moms and dads aren't always there. Oh, no. You get big. My daddy's gone a long time. And my mom, she's gone too. Nope. I had to train myself. That's right. So... Each one of you needs to learn to take your little person. And you need to be the profa and the profe, right? Now, we talked about training. And if you'll look, you'll see up on the board here, there are three parts to training. Instruction, practice, control. That's right, Grampy. And what we need to see is that Training is a long time. Grandpa, you were in the you were in the army, weren't you? Yep, I was in the army. Ugh. Training, training, training. Walking and walking and shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting and walking with heavy tacks. But when the war came and I went to height, I could shoot straight. Uh, I could carry heavy tacks. And I didn't get so tired. Yep, that's it. So we said first part of it is instruction. That means teaching. We all need teachers, right? Mm-hmm. I'm a teacher. And when I remember when I was little, Grampy, he's not really my Grampy. He's not my Grampy. He's just everybody's Grampy. He's been around since forever. And, but he acted like everybody's grampy, and he told, uh, taught us lots of stuff. Anyway, so somebody has to teach us. But the second part is practice. Practice, practice, practice. Right. What's practice? Practice is when you do the same thing over and over and over again, and you get so bored. Like your escritora. Nobody really likes escritora. It's boring, but you need to practice so it's nice and neat, and so you can do it fast. One day, you're going to go to the university, and you'll be doing lots of writing, and it has to be very fast. So we start in kinder to teach you how to do it. Remember, some of you, how many of you can ride a bike? Who can ride a bike? Can you ride a bike? bike uh, ride a BC? When you first started, you fell off and you fell down and you got hurt, you got up again. Maybe some of you have a little brother or little sister. Um, and so and so you have a little sister. And who else has a little brother or sister? <gasps> Hazard has a brand new baby, brand new baby, little Hannah. And who else? Um, somebody else's mama is going to have a baby any anytime. Right? We got new babies. Um, so those of you who have little brothers, little sisters, you can teach them, right? Mm -hmm. Now, remember when they started to walk? And so do you remember when little when Nancy learned to walk? She fell down a lot, didn't she? Yeah, she did. And she, um, she, you know, but she, you picked her up, try again. And you say, yep, you try again. Okay, um, we need to practice. Now, you need to practice all the things we do in school, but you also need to practice sitting still in your chair, not wiggling. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Remember, in kinder, you couldn't say in your chair. Evan always rocked on his chair. Mm -hmm. Saudi never paid attention. So what do you have to do? You have to pay attention. You have to practice and practice. But... Grampy, when you were in school, did you have to practice? Oh, my. I was always, oh, kindergarten. I had my nose on the wall lots. Yep. Why, Grampy? Well, I like to talk. And I didn't like to pay attention. And you, so I had to put my nose on the wall. And then... When I got home, there was a note from my teacher. 
and my mom would say, uh-oh, uh-oh, Sam, Sam, are you in trouble in school today? And I would say, yes, no, no. And she would say, what did you do? And I would say, I was talking again and not paying attention. And my donkey would, my nanny would go get the donkey gore and wham, wham, wham. Yep. Yep, donkey lord. Ooh. And I would cry because boy, my nan could hit hard. Ooh, da. Yep. That I had to practice and practice and practice. And by the time kindergarten was over, I learned to keep my big mouth shut. And I didn't have to go stand by the door anymore with the nose on the wall. Yes, we do have to practice. Mm -hmm. The same way, the same way we practice our handwriting. The same way we have to practice our, when learning to ride a bicycle or learning to walk or practice our sumas. The same way we practice them. We have to practice being keeping our mouth closed and sitting still. That's right. Now, another thing you have to practice is doing your schoolwork. Oh, my. Yes. Sumas. Now, some of you are doing very good on your sumas. Josh is doing great. He's just going lickety spit. Grampy, look over there on the wall. Look at all Josh's stickers for his math. Whoa, Josh! Whoa, Josh, great job! Working hard, bud. At least he does. Yep, Josh is working hard. Hazard's doing a good job, too, and, and Roberto, Steffi, some of them, Daniela, some of them are working hard. But other ones, I don't want to. And they don't. No, what do you have to do? Practice. Practice those sumas. You are not going to learn them. They're not just going to stick in your head. Oh, my, yes. Every day after school, I'd come home, and my mom would say, go practice your sumas. And I would say, I'm hungry. And she would say, good. Now, go practice your sumas. And I'd say, no, I'm, I'm hungry. And she would say, Sammy, there's no gut about it. You go practice, and when you're done, I'll give you a cookie. So I went to practice, and then I got my cookie every day, and that that lasted until Dad came home from work. That I learned my students, and my restos, and my tablets, because I practiced every day, because my non said, Go practice. Yep. Go practice. That's right. We have to practice even when we don't want to. That's right. Practice, practice, practice. That's all part of training. Well, Grampy, our time is up. Would you want to stay for us to sing the song? Oh, sure. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you lead the song today? You lead it instead of me, okay? Okay, cool. Okay. Let's say the verse first, okay? Train up the child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. I learned this verse when I was young like you, and you know what? I still know it all these years later, because I know it, and I learned it young. Okay, let's sing our song. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart. Run it. Hi, guys. Thanks for letting me join your class today. Bye, Grampy. See you later.